the most popular glacier in all of Iceland. And here we are at the Icelandic airport and is where my 48 hours on a boat journey is going to begin. All right, right now we're heading to pick up the RV and starting our four day road trip. And we're off. Right now I'm going to meet my captain that is planning on leaving me stranded for the rest of the night out in the middle of the lake. This is really, 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 really gonna be testing its limits though. I cannot get over this view here. Look at it, it's beautiful. <laughs> Shotty! Oh my gosh! Oh! Beautiful brown trout. Right. You're not gonna throw me off the boat, are you? Okay. That's a heck of a jump. <laughs> All right, well, let's get this day started, shall we? This is my 2018 Jimny, driving around here in Iceland for the week. I actually had another camper, or just another car booked for this trip, and it ended up being not what I was hoping for. It had like a baby gate in the back, so this is a, this is a great upgrade. Over the course of the next six days, I'm gonna be driving the entirety of the island Iceland. It's gonna be about 900 miles, and I'm sure we're gonna get up to some fun stuff along the way. Some fishing, some sightseeing. All right, my first stop here in Iceland is in Reykjavik, and we're stopping at a camping gear rental store. Gotta get some sleeping bags and stuff. Definitely thought this place was gonna be bigger. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, like an REI. This is so small. I'm so tired. Man. Dude, I'm I'm losing it. I'm so tired. Is this a pillow? Or what is no, this? No, it's a, it's a liner. Liner? Yeah. Oh, okay. amazing. All good? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got a cook set. Got ourselves a sleeping bag. A table and a couple chairs for a camping rig. I apologize if I sound or seem crazy right now. I feel crazy. I uh, I haven't slept in like 24 hours now. Well, that's the name of the game. I'm excited to be here. This is only my second time being international. <sighs> Dude, people here drive crazy. Today is our first day here in Iceland, and we got a pretty big one planned. We're going fishing first, and then we're going to see what we can't get up to after that. Waterfalls, nature, mountains. First, got to figure out how to make this coffee machine work. Hmm? Hmm.
That's good. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. They all the same? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Watch out for the barbed wire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fishing here in Iceland is crazy because they don't have like a game warden service and people actually privately own the water. So you actually, you gotta know somebody in order to fish here. We're out with a guide today. His name is Bjorn and the company he works for has a lease on this land. So we're allowed to fish. Oh God, it's big. Let line out, let line out with your hand. I'm not letting him lose this fish here, Jordan, hold this. I'm gonna help you here. Hold, keep holding your attention. He's coming. He's coming to us. Oh boy. Oh, he's so big. It's huge. It's so big. Yeah. He's huge. Yeah. Oh boy. Shotty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a big yeah, female, no? A big one. Look at that fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Man. That's a really good trout. That's really nice. <laughs> you just drop it down in the net. Yeah, yeah, there you go, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got clean, a good one. Clean release. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Dude, this is fun. All right, let's get another one. <laughs> Dude, you see that thing go out of the air? Oh. All right, here it comes. <laughs> oh, it's big. It's so big. <laughs> Get him, Bjorn. Get him. Ah! <laughs> Oh, he's safe! Thank you! Yeah! Yeah, it's good Go fish. in a little bit. It's a big brown. Look at that fish! Dude! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Look at that brown. Beautiful brown trout. Oh, this is a great fishing day. Yeah. So good. All right, rods are secured to the car. Caught some fish. Now it's time to move on to the next thing. And here is the vehicle for the week. We've got ourselves a 2018 Jimny with a rooftop camper. This thing is tiny and super sick. You can see we're riding on, I think, 17 or 16 inch tires. And it's got a little bit of clearance. Today we're working with about 30 kilometers an hour of wind, which is enough to uh, blow your hat off, quite literally. And of course we got some rain, which I'm told is pretty common for here in Iceland. are insane. This little Jimny is pretty capable for how small it is. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, this is a little more ice than Hi everybody, this is, this is Jordan. This is my friend Sean. <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm with these two goobers for <laughs> like a week here. We're doing we're doing the road trip together. <laughs> Dude, that was insane, eh? That was fun. That was Yeah. Drove down about three miles and uh, we found the Arctic Ocean. And it looks gnarly right now. Moss is insane. It's like my fourth consecutive day in a row of wearing glasses because, well, to be honest, I was playing a lot of video games before I left on this trip and my right eye is like kind of disturbed, so maybe one day I'll be able to wear contacts again. But right now, it hurts. Okay. Have a good day. You After our quick little detour, we're back on a paved road. It is really funny driving this thing around because it is so light that the wind is just blowing it all over the place. I've got my foot almost to the floor right now and I'm just able to make it over 100 kilometers which is I think like 63 miles an hour. So although I only have 120 kilometers left in the uh, day of travel before we try to find a campsite, it might take me a little bit to get there. Fjarrar Guldjufur. Fjarrar. Fjarrar Guldjufur. That's Fjarrar River, and that's Fjarrar Regilov. Fjarrar Regilov. Fjarrar Regilofur. Fjarrar Regilofur. Fjarrar Regilofur. What did you do with the car? Fiarrarrgilio. <laughs> <laughs> This is so cool.
I guess that's why they call it Iceland. What, the seals? Yeah. Oh, they're right here. It just smells like fresh over here. It's nice. These glaciers are so sick. It's camping time. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I definitely think you could. You might get stuck right here. What do I do with a high center on this right now? Right here. Just go slow. Wait, be careful. Don't don't get all cocky now. Well, should I just, how am I looking underneath right Hold now? on. Now I guess you can make it a bit. Well, it looks like you can go straight, maybe. Wow. Just walk in my chimney. <laughs> hey, we really made it lemonade out some lemons, baby. <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is way cooler than that campsite. You know what else is cool? The seatbelt thing doesn't beep at you when you're in four low. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we walked all the way down to the riverbed, and it looks a little gnarly right here. I mean, we could probably do it, but if it rains really hard in the morning or... If for some reason we can't do it, we're kind of SOL in the spot, but look, we're like, you can see the river right here. Look at that. That's so sick. <laughs> yeah, we found a cool spot. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Nice. Nice. This could get interesting. Ooh, an Ikea steak knife. You want to take it down there? You can take this down there and fill it with water. Cheers. We're in the back seat, eh? <laughs> this is gonna leave this. All right, Jordan's going to get us some river water. And I am starting on our lamb soup. Very full days out here in Iceland. It is uh, just about 9 p.m. right now and pretty spent, honestly. Yep, it's boiling. <laughs> Pretty. Not bad. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Should I put a crushed up boulogne cube on it? Boolean? Yeah, we're gonna do it.
Oh, it's cooking. It's cooking. Yeah, would you believe me if I told you it was 9.30 hour right now? It's crazy. It's really insane. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can cook this meat faster with a lighter. <laughs> Here, this is this is how cold this pan is. That can't. That cannot. How is that possible? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> it's not gonna stay on there. Just tips over. All right, 37 minutes later of sitting on this hole. Woohoo! We got boils. Oh, sh Now it's too hot. I don't know if I have control over that, man. <laughs> That's that's some soup. Okay, that's actually pretty good. It's good broth. The onion's a little crunch. What do you think? I'd say let her cook. Let him cook now. <laughs> let her cook. Here's your soup. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. You know, the soup is a 10. The service... Four. Could be a little better. Yeah. The broth actually got a nice flavor. Mm-hmm. From like the bacon and stuff. Cheers, bud. Cheers, buddy. Thanks for waiting for the soup. Oh, of course. I did buy two of these bread things, but Jordan got so hungry waiting for soup. Okay. Apparently lamb soup is an Icelandic meal. They, we had lamb for dinner last night, so I could see it. Dude, they had so much lamb available at the grocery store, too. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, every different cut. Where do you think this lamb came from? It was sirloin. It is good, though, huh? It's hot as mother. I, mean, I can't believe you're saying that. It's so funny. We waited so long for the boil, and now it's almost too hot to eat. Sad soup gets a 7.5 out of 10. Eight, maybe, right now. I'm so hungry, though. I would eat that lamb raw. Oh. No, I wouldn't. Mm -mm. Probably not. Oh, yeah. Getting in here is going to be impossible. Dude. <laughs> I got a child's <laughs> sleeping bag. Look at us. Iceland. What is this? You got a bed <laughs> sheet? <laughs> this is the lighter they gave. They're like, <laughs> oh, God. All right. Two hour, two hour glacier water soup. Lamp. Oh, dude. <laughs> I got to go. All right. Well, maybe see you in the morning if I don't die from the smell in here. No. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that's so bad. <laughs> Good morning. <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> dude, this tent is tiny. <laughs> my feet touch, and then my head touches. I was, I was curled up in a little ball last night. I could totally just fall out of here right now. <laughs> like... Oh. All right, tent's all latched up. Now we just gotta get the heck out of here. All right, we made it out. This is the car that I'm gonna be using for this camping trip. It is a behemoth of a Land Rover. This is specifically the Land Rover Defender 110, but this thing is far from stock. We have 37 inch tires fitted on this thing. We've got a snorkel and a big old bougie rooftop tent. Because we're gonna be camping on a glacier, I needed to make sure I had the right rig for it. And this thing definitely passes that test. So this car was shipped over here from Europe. It's a 2008. This thing would 
fetch a pretty penny in the States if it was legal. We've got a six-speed manual transmission, locking differential, and even a little horn. It is really funny because there's like actually gaps in these doors. Like, I mean, that's a little bit better, but you can still see daylight through them. I am a little bit nervous about driving a manual off-roading. This will be a first for me, but we're going to figure it out together. It is really confusing in Iceland that diesel is black and gas is green. All right, so that was like $50 for a quarter tank. Does this look like it fits in here? Oh. All right, how to find groceries. For some reason, I feel like I'm not in the right place. I'm at a shopping mall, but maybe there's grocery stores at shopping malls here, I guess. Indeed there is. Do you carry a cod tongue? Like the, no, 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 cod, tongue, no, no cod tongue? No. Okay. Hello, do you speak English? Um, do you sell cod tongue? Only frozen? Oh, it's softened? Oh, that's fine. All right, thank you. I was the one that called about the cod cheeks. Yeah, or cod tongue. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Now here comes a two and a half hour drive. All right, so there are tectonic plates here in Iceland and some big ones at that. The two biggest being the Eurasian and the North American plates. Where I'm at right now is where they both meet. And exactly right here is where they meet. It's pretty cool to see. Nice rocks. But we aren't here to tectonic plate, we're here to see a glacier. And that exact glacier is the Langjokul glacier. Also, sorry if I completely butcher it because I, it's, they're hard to pronounce, all right? I mean, how would you pronounce it? 
This is the most popular glacier in all of Iceland, mainly because it's located right next to the big city, Reykjavik. Well, right next to it's two and a half hours away. But right now in the off season here, it is the only glacier that you're actually able to access by vehicle. And I use that term access very loosely. From the place I am right now, I have about a hour and a half drive left. So let's see if I can't make it there. With how big this thing is and it being, you know, had some miles ran through it, it's running really good. Knock on wood. I just set my fade up, didn't I? Now if something goes wrong, it's my fault. Great. Up here in the highlands of Iceland, I'm working with about 30 mile an hour winds today, and I'm sure my audio is top notch. But man, is it gorgeous. So I headed over to the Iceland website to figure out which road I needed to get on and found out I needed to get on the road 550, which really might not be a road at all. Well, here we are. The end of the road. It goes from pavement to gravel. And when I checked this road in the morning, it was green. By the time I got here, it had turned gray. And it made an executive decision just to, to keep on trucking. Well, this road's definitely gotten a lot gnarlier. Lots of big snow banks, some soft mud, puddles underneath it all. prayer for me. Oh. Wow, that was anticlimactic. That was simple. Oh, that was scary. That thing was up to the grill. Oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to be on this road. This vehicle's crazy, that's all I'm gonna say. Ooh. This road is a mess. Okay. This is so much fun, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like plowing through slush and like, I don't know, a foot and a half of snow in some spots with drifts. It's so crazy. Oh. <sighs> I mean, I get it. It's a capable vehicle. I understand that. But when you're be the end of the road for me. This is really, 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 really going to be testing its limits though. This is by far the most capable vehicle that I've ever been behind the wheel of, other than maybe my Humvee. This thing is insane. Oh, I got myself in a doozy. Uh-oh. When I had made it about three quarters of the way down, I found myself stuck for the first time. I found myself a nice four foot snowbank that was accumulating snow throughout the day. High winds, Lots of snow on the mountains leads to roads getting a little fluffy. Anybody out here today? <coughs> Radio check here on 45. Wondering if anybody's out on 550. Over. Nobody's on 550. All right, so the issue is right here. If you look, in the rear diff is completely buried in snow. It's making it so we can't move. You can see. Some of the snow's bunching up right there. 
we're trying to get ourselves out. Um, there's things that you can do to make sure that you don't get more stuck. Like, don't spin your tires. Air down if you really need to. Not too much, though. And dig. Dig until you can't dig anymore before you try to get yourself out. This is like worst case scenario, honestly. Alone, by a glacier, stuck. So close. After about an hour and a half of playing with a shovel in the snow, I finally found myself unstuck and it was looking optimistic for the road forward. I ended up putting some rocks underneath the tires after I dug out most of it. And... I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I know it's capable, but this thing's up to my wiener. Let's try this again, shall we? About two kilometers later, going on a downslope, I found myself stuck yet again, and this time facing the fatigue from digging myself out not only 10 minutes ago, I was, I was feeling a little hopeless. Well, there's the glacier right there, and right there. How's it going? I'm good, thank you. Um, hypothetically speaking, if somebody needed to get uh, out of some snow, who would they call? Oh, you're stuck. Um, I'm on an F road right now. Um, I was trying to visit the... Um, yeah, I see where you are. I have a track on it. Yeah, so I'm on F550, and it was green this morning, but I checked just now, and it turned to a question mark. There's some snow, and I got stuck in a drift going downhill. Are you totally stuck? Uh... Yeah, I've uh, I could I could spend some more time digging. You can find if you can find someone who uh, someone's in the area. Okay. okay sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Well, here was what I was talking about earlier. The uh, 550 road is where I'm at. I'm like right on this spot in the middle, like right here. This is the road I'm on. This was uh, green yesterday, so it was easily passable. And today, not, not so much. Well, better call Saul. The whole glacier camping being easy thing's really funny right now, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I should've turned around when I got stuck the first time. I just thought, I honestly thought I thought it was going to be different. They're on their way. They should be here within an hour and a half. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't thinking about camping right here, but I uh, think for safety reasons, it's probably better just to, just to scoot. I'm still going to cook some dinner, though, because I'm hungry. It is 1030 right now, and I have a fun recipe prepared. Well, I had a fun recipe for camping prepared, but we're going to make it out here right next to the glacier. We are making an Icelandic special tonight. That is cod tongues. It's not actually a tongue of a cod, it's actually the belly part. This part of the fish was 800 Icelandic, which is uh, only like $6, and they got like a pound. I'm pouring in some breadcrumbs right now. frozen in.
Oh, oh, nice shot. What a sunset, man. Oh, this place is gorgeous. Cod tongue, chiles, tomatoes, some parsley, and green onion. I'd say it looks pretty good for being in the middle of nowhere. It's supposed to be on a glacier, but hey, these things are kind of funny looking, right? It's an Icelandic meal. Holy man, that's fishy. guy that sold them to me was like, I don't know, they're a day old. Feeling like they were more than a day old, but I digress. The uh, consistency is a lot more like fatty. The belly meat of a fish, if you don't know, is usually a little more rubbery. They're not good. Mmm, I don't know they're good. Who takes? One funny day. Spend like two hours trying to find cod hole. And then I thought I was making a video where I went camping on a glacier, but instead I've been sitting here. <laughs> uh, at least, bah, at I I don't think that I've ever spit food out like that. I almost just puked right there. That was not a, that's not Hollywood. That was real. What are we doing? Not even a resealable bag. What am I supposed to do, is house this whole thing? Like, what do you know about paprika Pringles? Hmm? Who thinks of putting paprika on a chip? I mean, it's absolutely sickening. It's sick. It's so good. But it's sick. All right, they're almost here. Alexa, play Riders on the Storm. Riders on the Storm. Riders on the Storm. Hello. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> You? Good, how are you doing? You're Great. probably doing better than I am. <laughs> hey. Hello, Maverick. Hello, you. you too. Maverick. Hi. Hi. Maverick. Nice to meet you. Do you have a, a... 10 PSI. 10 PSI? Yeah. Let's take it down to like 3 or something. 3? Okay. See, now I'm gonna feel very silly if you just pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you give a kick. Yeah, it was a, that was a good kick. In reverse? Yeah. Okay. That was easy. Just a little help. Yeah, just a little help. Okay, so like, I'm gonna go to the back. I'm gonna go backwards and go into the left path now okay. and stop there and then we're going to plow the path on the right. 
Oh, plowed on the right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Have you driven on the glacier? Yeah, many, many times. I've gone so, snowboarding. I've gone so on snow, cool. snow fields. No way. Uh, you should be good here. You think if you were driving, you could have got this to the glacier today? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> of course. You go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Thank you so much. Tomorrow. Sounds good. I'm Thank you again. Welcome. Home sweet home. <laughs> All right, it's 2.30. Just found myself a hotel room. I'll see you in the morning. Adventure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you? Uh, do you have a taxi? Or I don't. Okay. Do you want me to get you one? Yeah. Would you be okay. able to call one? If you could just. Uh, what airport? Like Reykjavik or Reykjavik? Yeah. And here we are at the Icelandic airport for domestic travel. Tiny, cute little place, and is where my 48 hours on a boat journey is going to begin. <laughs> So I'm going to be riding a short one and a half hours on this. Hi. Today, I'm going to be starting a 48-hour journey of living on boats between Iceland and the Faroe Islands. This is the MS Norana. It's owned by the Faroese shipping company, Smeril, and has been in operation since 1983, and it can bring you all the way to Denmark. guacamole it's a hotel on water this is insane we got a little reading nook sit by the glass he's got the important chairs king of the castle this is nicer than the hotel rooms i've been staying at dude it has a full shower and your own toilet come on this ship is going to be going for the next 30 hours until I get to the Faroe Islands. But it doesn't stop there because immediately when we get there, we're hopping on a sailboat and seeing the Faroe Islands in an alternative way. I cannot get over this view here. Look at this beautiful snowy white cap mountains. These cute little houses right in the water. Seagulls flying around. People on their way to get stuck in the chimney. All right, well, as fun as this room is, I've got a lot of time to stay here, so I'm gonna get out of here for a little bit and do some exploring. <laughs> wow, so cool. So with the pace we have right now, we should make it to our destination by 4 p.m. tomorrow, Faro time. It's midnight, and I'm all tucked in, getting rocked to sleep by the waves. I'll, uh, see you in the morning. Wakey, wakey. 
Isn't this lamp an Ikea? I feel like this is an Ikea lamp. If you think about it, this is absolutely terrifying. I mean, it's beautiful, but look at this. All that's separating me from this dark, cold water is these couple panes of glass right now. Comforting. Okay, after all that moving around and cleaning and coffee, it's time to conquer my biggest fear. I have some questions like why is the water yellow I promise that's not pee and am I gonna slip fall and die on a moving ship showering in tile it's pretty normal besides the swing Time for some lunch. All right, it's now 2 p.m. We're gonna be at port in two hours. Yeah. We finally see the island. And now off from the big ship to this, a Denmark sailboat in the Faroe Islands. Now, I don't know if we're actually going to be sailing today or using the big motor, but I have Captain Berger with me and I'm going to be spending the next 24 hours on this boat. All right, so this is a 32 foot sailboat. It's absolutely gorgeous on the outside, but wait until you see what's below deck. Oh, it's beautiful down here. Later on, this is gonna be my bedroom for the night. Got our full cooktop, a giant lounging area, and even a desk. And of course, we've got an, our own little bathroom. I totally thought that was gonna be a shower. And there's another room here where you can sleep on the bow of the boat. What are you gonna do with a steering wheel that big? All right, we're here with Captain Berger and Niels, and we're about to set sail. Are, are we sailing or just using the big motor today, Berger? Just, we never sail on. No sail, just the big motor, huh? Yeah, we don't take slowly. <laughs> I'm from Denmark. Denmark, okay. And where are you from? Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, in America. Okay. Nice. Yes. Oh. We're free. And we're off. I have all the time in the day now. Yeah, yeah, I'll help you make a good film. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. They're quick. Yes. Yeah, they are. We're going to be sailing the Arctic Ocean today. We're going to be going to an island that you can only access by ferry. There's no tunnels or roads to it. Be accompanied by these two fine gentlemen right here. You're not gonna throw me off the boat, are you? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. There's lots of people to witness if you throw me off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't pick me up and throw me, okay? Is the boat steering itself right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First five time I was on this island, I swim back to the door. Wow. That's, the That's amazing. 
You swam? We have a competition for swimming back here. Oh my gosh. Eight degrees. They have this thin four millimeter neoprene. Okay, so you wore a wetsuit. Going around sightseeing in the boat. Looking for puffins. Which island is this? Yeah, this is Nolsoy. Nolsoy? Yeah, Nolsoy. Yeah, okay. okay. He's trying to tell me he's not a chef and he's making okay. stuff that looks like that. And you, made you made this? Yeah, yeah. You're a chef. You know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Huh? Is there lots of puffin that nest this time of year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Puffin. Those are some big waves. So here's a really good visual of some volcanic rock. This is where the lava came and separated. Long, long time ago. How long ago do you think that was? 60 million years? You're putting that big steering wheel to work. <laughs> it's good. Wow. So the Faroe Islands is like made up of 18 different islands, I'm pretty sure. And this is one of them, but it's only accessible by ferry. There's no roads to it. I think eventually we're gonna end up jumping off and stepping foot on it. But right now we're just taking it. It's gorgeous, eh? Yes. So one of the things Pharaoh is known for is these sea caves. I'm on coffee duty. It's quite warm down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nils, do you prefer strong coffee? St strong coffee is good. Do you like it black? Yes. 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 Thank you. I'd say it's going pretty well so far. Not bad as well as it can go for finding a random 73-year-old man online offering to take you in a sailboat. It's going great. Very good. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm trying. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's very stiff. It's too much. It's a strong one. It's very good too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nils has never caught a fish. We're gonna try our hand at catching a cod. And then, you had your big weight. This is very heavy. This is for very deep water. So this is for like, for here because the fish are like a hundred feet deep. Yeah. We wouldn't be on a boat if we weren't fishing. So we have a, like a small sabiki rig here. Bring me to the fish, Captain. Yeah, we are very close now. We will be there in two minutes. Okay. <laughs> we got a fish. Yeah. We're on! <laughs> we got a fish! Woo! 
<laughs> what do we got? We got a cod! Yeah! Hopefully we can do it again. All the way at the bottom? Okay, walk it. Now we're gonna lift two cranks. Okay, good. Mm -mm. All right, so it was a fun time on the water, but it is getting a little bit dicey out here. So we're heading in after we caught our fish. Woo! Okay, the boat should be all secure now. And just in time, because the rain is starting to come down. Yeah. Thank you. That was awesome. Very good. Yeah. Welcome. Appreciate it. Now we try to do some food. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds great. Come to find out, Berger's not only an amazing captain, but an amazing cook. So we're going to head inside and we're going to cook up ourselves our fresh cod dinner. You dice? What? Huh? Dicing? Yeah, just listen. Onions all done. Burger, do you want me to fillet these outside or in here? Yeah, come here. Come in, in here? Yeah. And I guess that can be good too if you know how to. So we will. Should I put them in breadcrumbs? Sure. I would try one pan fried as well. Yeah, then we just put it about there, huh? It sounds okay. Yeah. It sounds good to me. Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, very good. Huh? I got this in Iceland, both together. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing. It's fast. Salt and pepper. Just a little bit more. And what do you have going over here? Some... This is just a... Uh... Looks like beets. Yeah. Beets? Yeah. Yeah, root. Uh, yeah, take care. Take care. Oh, so we have our cod and our spiky fish, some beets, potatoes, and onion. That cod is delicious. Yeah? Yeah. It tastes really, really good. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It's, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah good, good cap captain. <laughs> <laughs> great captain. Even, though Even cooks for us. <laughs> Yeah. This is where you leave me. Thank you, Burger. Yeah, yeah. It was a very fun day. Yeah. Appreciate it. I got you. Enjoyed. We caught fish and had a good meal. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Don't say anything. I don't even want to hear it. Oh, come on. Home sweet home. All right, here it is. This is the camper that I'm gonna have for the next four days here in the Faroe Islands. It's a Euro camper, so it's uh, not even a brand I'm really familiar with called the Nexovan and it's made by a company called Citroen which I believe is it's got to be it's got to be European it's really awesome though I mean from the outside you can see it's pretty low profile it doesn't have the big canopy over the top like lots of campers do because there are a lot of tunnels and bridges and things here that you want a shorter a shorter vehicle jumping on in You can see it's nice and spacious in here and really modern. Queen sized bed up here, little windows and pull down shades, little cooktop, and a table to hang out at. Van comes equipped with its own Wi Fi and lots of lights. 
Oh, almost forgot to mention, it's a stick shift. Getting the van took a little bit longer than I expected, but I still think I might be able to squeak out a hike today. And we're off. This island's funny because it looks massive, but everything's scaled down so small. Like before I came here, I thought it was gonna be at least an eight hour journey just to get across the island. But in reality, it's only an hour and a half. Oh my gosh, there's a sheep in the road. Buddy, watch out. We have lamb stew. Watch out, little buddy. So cute. single lane tunnel. So these islands are connected by these tunnels. I had no idea that there were these really eerie single lane tunnels with little pull-offs to let traffic go by. <laughs> but there's something like 170 miles of road here to drive. And don't get me wrong, it's like really smooth road. But um, for comparison, like Minnesota has 27,000 miles of driving roads. Um, so this Island's teensy tiny. All right, let's not hit anybody here. Oh yeah, it's windy. First spot's an easy one. It's basically a drive up hike. So this spot is known as Gasa Dolor. It's one of the most famous spots here in the Faroe Islands because you can get all the main attributes of scenery in the Faroe all in one location. This says no admittance, and for good reason. That's the stairway to hell. Fall off that thing, you're dead. But I'd go ahead and agree with uh, the internet and say that that's a must see. Hey. Hey. That is really crazy that that's, this is the waterfall right there. Oh. Can't believe I got the drone up. And it's windy, man. And also, it told me it was going to be pretty, but I didn't know it was going to be like that. Like that pretty. What's up? Yeah, that's what I thought. And that was the first spot. I mean, I don't even really see how I can get better than that. Right now, I'm driving underneath the Atlantic Ocean, which is kind of funny because it's the driest place I've been all day. How's it going? Minnesota? Minnesota, America? Yeah. Yeah. United States, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty flat trail, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not steep or anything, but okay. just be careful when you come to the edge. Yeah. Will do. I will, uh, I'll see you in a couple hours then, I guess. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Have a good day.
All right, so I wasn't too far off the trail, but let's go see if we can't see anything here. Like, look at this. This just looks like a flat field. But right on the other edge of this, there's that drop. Holy cow. Oh, it's clearing up a little bit. We get to see it anyway. Look, it's clearing up. Oh my gosh. Sick. Oh. Holy cow, man. This feels like the perfect backdrop for one of those dreams where you're falling and wake up in a panic. <laughs> All right, thank you Mother Nature for clearing up just for that second, that was amazing. All right, seagulls. Just come across something. A big ass slug. I'm not gonna touch him in case he's poisonous. He's about the same size as my pinky. In the pharaoh, they must have a uh, different definition of flat because <laughs> that does not feel flat. First viewpoint. I don't really know too much of the history on this spot, but I know that uh, Vikings and slaves used to hang out here, use it as a swimming hole, unfortunately. It's a heck of a jump. But in present age, we can. Uh, admire its beauty and look I even got the Sun to come out the weather's on my side today oh, yeah, this, uh, <laughs> oh. okay. ah the Sun in the background's hard yeah. thank you yeah, thank you're welcome you. very much you're welcome holy man Wouldn't want to jump off of that. Yeah, you're so welcome. Be careful. All right. All right, hopefully I got a good one for you. Yeah. You need a photo? Uh, sure, that'd be great. <laughs> it's amazing. Wouldn't want to jump off of that.
Isn't it funny that seven hours ago I was like, oh, it's gonna be a bad day. Better not go hiking. I was contemplating not going out. And now look at this. Look at this. This has to be one of the most beautiful sun I've ever put my eyes on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, sir, I don't think they're going to let you up there. Hey, do you have a minute to talk about your car's extended warranty? Yo! It's, it's almost 8 p.m. right now. And it's this sunny out. It's crazy! What an epic day. So tomorrow I'm going fishing, but something I've been noticing as I've been driving around the islands are these. It might just look like a giant circle, but this is to keep wildlife and birds out because this is a fish hatchery. A salmon fish hatchery to be exact. Right next to the hatchery, we have, we have a packaging facility. It smells like feet. Uh -huh. Smells like feet. Hello! Get my room. Good there. Yeah. 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 Just the uh, shortly cut them. That's what I need. I need an automatic filleting machine. <laughs> Looks like yeah. the fillets that I get in Costco. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this campsite is epic. It's just like this old soccer field. <laughs> so sick. Let's go fishing. Rotation suit. It's more for the comfort because Faroe Islands gets windy. It's, it's always, always cold <laughs> in the summer. Fair enough. Thank you. And the suit on the outside of the boots. Comfortable and stylish. Sorry. I said comfortable and stylish. Yeah. <laughs> it's comfortable and stylish. Yeah. And here it is. is the the boat? boat. It's beautiful. It is. Yeah. This is a traditional. Hand handicraft, you know, it's built by hand. So cool. By uh, a man who's now uh, in his 80s. Wow. And he's built uh, maybe about 30 boats. It's beautiful. I've never seen a motor in the middle like that before. No, it's because there's no sort of end. There's no boat. mount, yeah. And don't worry, the boat is moving, but it's absolutely safe. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're good. Nothing to it. All right. What are, you, are you using a rudder right now to steer? With that? Just the rubber. Yeah. Um, so you're steering with that, with the rope? Yes. I steer with a rope on there. Yeah. 
This is my guide for the day, Samson. We've got our fishing rod and we've got a beautiful scenic view with hopefully some fish below. Down we go. Spotted a sheep in the water. A sheep in the water? Fish. Yep. Big. Big fish. Very big fish. <laughs> this one. It's heavy. Yeah. A cod. Yeah. <laughs> First fish of the day. This is a decent sized fish. Beautiful. There's the catch. Nice Atlantic cod. We did it. <laughs> that was fun. Here in the Faroe Islands, there's lots of these grottles or sea caves, and right now we're going to enter one. Wow, so cool. It's really beautiful. It's cool. How about some bread? 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 Yeah. We've got bread, a little bit of uh, lamb sausage, and cheese. Rotten food. Good lunch. Thank you very much. You're a good host. <laughs> All right, the wind's changed, the rain's coming. We've got our fish, so we're heading in. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, have a good one. So we've got our fish. We had a good day on the water, we beat the rain. Now all that's left to do run to a grocery store and get some ingredients for a proper fish and chips. Despite the Faroe Islands natural beauty and landscapes, it also has one of the biggest unnatural phenomenons in this world. Meet the Estroy Tunnel or the Jellyfish Tunnel. This is the only underwater roundabout in existence. At the center of this roundabout is a giant central pillar of natural rock left behind during the blasting construction. This giant pillar is now illuminated and decorated by a local artist. It didn't come cheap though, because this thing cost over 260 million euros and over four years to build. We are 73 meters under sea right now. Ah! Also, maybe it wasn't a good idea to get out. And there's not even any leaky water in here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh huh. All right, I found myself a nice camping spot here in the capital of Pharaoh. Now, all we gotta do is cook our fish. First things first, we need to make our batter. It's got to sit in the fridge. There you go. Into the fridge with you. Okay. Chips.
Oh. Oh no, I was supposed to do egg yolk, not egg white. That looks better. way better. Yep. Alright, there's a fresh cod. Look at this fish, dude. Look at how thick it is. It's crazy. Now that is some proper fish and chips. Fresh cod, Atlantic cod, homemade tartar sauce with homemade mayo. I mean, I really went all out here. I fry fish quite a bit. Can't remember the last time I went this all out. I am a big tail piece guy, so that's what I'm gonna start with, the tail of the cod. First, let's check to see if the fries are crispy. They soggied up a little bit. They've been sitting here a little while while I've been cooking the fish, so. But not bad, room for improvement. All right, now let's try the fish. I don't think I've ever used a batter like this before. You use a uh, used cornstarch. Oh my God. Delicious. That nice white flaky fish on the inside, crispy outside. Mm. They take their fish and chips serious around here. I think I give them a run for their money. Minus the chips.
I am in a food coma. One of the best rooms in Baroque style, but survive until nowadays. Yeah. The almond is delicious. Yeah, I know. That's uh, really, really a lot of calories and a lot of Ooh. sugar. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they took them from Russia during the war in the beginning of 1700s and they didn't deliver it here to Rip's home. Chicken bodies. <laughs> Chicken body court ladies. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. This is what a castle toilet looks like with <laughs> an amazing view. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to use that. <laughs> He's got scary eyes. <laughs> okay. Make sure I have everything. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was yeah. very nice to meet you. Yeah. Somewhere in the middle of Sweden's largest lake, there's a small hotel. Half of it's above water, half of it's below. And every day, somebody gets a chance to stay there. And tonight, that someone's me. The Hotel Uter, or Otter in English, is definitely a quirky stay and something that I haven't done before. Right now, I'm going to meet my captain that is planning on leaving me stranded for the rest of the night out in the middle of the lake. Okay, I found the boat. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is the first boat I've been on that has a, you know. Also, I think that this is way too much stuff to bring for one night, but we're making food. That's pretty nice. It like keeps you on the shore there too. Yeah. How far out is it? It's really, it's really close. Okay. So you can probably see it kind of behind the trees, like right behind the boat that's driving by right okay. here. Okay. It's, it's, it's really close. So if I needed to, I can swim back. <laughs> if you needed to. Yeah. This will be my first time staying in a underwater hotel. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> And we're off. All right, so we just came out right here. We're driving all the way up. Well, not all the way, short drive to the Uteren. But this is the, uh, the biggest lake here in Sweden. You can just see how big it is. See you in the morning, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that, we're alone. <laughs> so, this is the place right here. The Hotel Utter. And down here, this is where the magic happens. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. And the underwater part of the underwater hotel. Any fish. It really is a window cleaning service. Oh, there's a fish right here. Did you see that? Oh, look at There's a perch right here. Dude. So this thing's held down to the bottom with two 25-pound anchors. So with a strong wind, we could probably start moving. But yeah, that's that's the gist of it. I also have a roommate. 
I'm going to have to learn how to live with spiders. We are only about five kilometers from shore, so if I really need to, I don't, I'm not going to need to, but I could, I think I could swim across it without drowning. But this is where I'm gonna spend the next indefinite future, is in this little cute red cabin. This is gonna sound so silly, but what about water? I mean, I know I'm surrounded by water, of course. All right, well, get some boiling water. I think I have a little bit in my bottle. Oh, I'll survive. Right. Keep on trucking, man. I got myself a little present today. We're going fishing. Oh, dude, I got one. Did you see that bobber fish coming out? Oh, it's a brim. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Goodbye. It didn't take long at all. Did it. What another bite. Oh. My line just broke. Another brim. Look at this thing. I don't know if this is like a shad or what this is, but... Oh, not in the blueberries. Not in the blueberries. Look how shiny it is. I think it's a shad. It's huge. Oh. All I know is in Minnesota, we, we do not have those fish. Good thing I got 50 worms. This is fun. There we go. Got some. Perch! Look at that perch. I caught myself a Swedish fish. Cute little Swedish fish. Mwah. Thanks, buddy. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mwah. All right, now give me a kiss. No, it's kidding. Don't do that. Don't give me a kiss. Leave me alone. I need to have a fika. What is a fika, you might ask? Well, this is a fika, Ooh. or known as a coffee break, commonly shared with a sweet treat like a cinnamon roll or cardamom bread. This is my second one of the day, which is actually what everybody's doing in Sweden. Employers are required to give two fikas a day for 20 minutes each to let their employees have a break and have a coffee. So my employer is just abiding by the rules. However, today I did learn a very interesting fact that Sweden is actually the number one consumer per, they're the leading consumer of coffee per person. They battle with Finland because every year it's either Finland or Sweden or Finland or Sweden or Finland or Sweden. It's so yummy. Especially with worms on my fingers. Alright, so today we are making Swedish meatballs. Yay! This is our stove we're working with tonight. It's a regular two burner camp stove with a hose that runs all the way outside to a 10 pound propane tank under here that I may or may not have caught leaking earlier, so. I feel like I'm back on a boat. Ow! It's a hot potato. Hey Alexa, subscribe to Map on YouTube. Thanks. Some 
delicious. All right, got ourselves some mashed potatoes. That looks pretty good. Anybody want spider meatballs? Okay, who turned on the waves? Oh my gosh, dude. That was my friggin'. Oh my god, bro. Are you friggin' kidding me? Oh. God dang it. Oh. Stay on a floating hotel, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Ta-da! All better. Howdy. How's it going? How you Good. Good. Cool. Thank you. Sweet. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right. I'm on my last batch of meatballs, and the guys surprised me with 10 liters of water. Now the big spiders are coming out. Oh boy, and they're everywhere. My spidey senses are tingling. This is pretty cool though, can't lie. Since I got out here, the wind has definitely picked up. I just checked the weather app and it says it's going seven miles an hour right now. So I think I might be getting rocked to sleep tonight, which is fine. Might even be getting some kisses from you. Give me a kiss. Wow, that's creepy, huh? And then we descend into the abyss. I haven't gone down with the backpack yet, and it makes me a little bit nervous, especially now that I have one hand. All right, just take it slow. All right, here we are, six meters below the surface of the lake. <laughs> one thing that's nice is that I've realized the gigantic spiders don't like it underwater quite as much. I'm gonna head to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully. Good morning, Finn. Good morning, Finn. Where is this man? Oh, there you are, Finn. What's up, buddy?
Well, at least we've got some memories and some stories to tell <laughs> and all of our fingers. Sure love trip here in Sweden. I wanna make it back here one day. If you guys have any video ideas or things that you wanna see, let me know in the comments down below. But as always, until next time, you're another drill, just keep on trucking.